Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Mihir Patel. I'm a chemical engineer by profession. I'm also a PMP, which is a project management professional, as well as a TUE suit certified functional safety professional. Uh, with the grace of God, I had the good fortune to write a very composite chemical engineering book titled Mihir's Handbook of Chemical Process Engineering. Today we'll be discussing chapter seven, which is uh, related to pressure vessels, tanks, bullets, and spears. Uh, we will start with the pressure vessel category. Now, pressure vessel is any any equipment uh, in any process plant. If you see, there is always going to be pressure vessels category. Uh, pressure vessel is any equipment which has a certain pressure above which it falls in the pressure vessel category, or it can also be under vacuum conditions. Uh, the code of manufacture are numerous depending on the country in which the vessel is being manufactured. For example, in the uh, US. Uh, ASME code is followed in India also 90% plus projects follow the ASME code uh, for example in Germany you have AD Mac Blatter in France you have the SNCT CODAP code in Britain you have the BS code so like this uh, depending on the country the uh, code of manufacture is decided and the thickness of the pressure vessel is different depending on these different codes uh, in the book I have given a, 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 a graph which shows the relative costing value if you follow the different codes. Uh, now the pressure vessel uh, can have many configurations. It can be a horizontal bullet, it can be a vertical bullet. You can have other, other uh, shapes and configurations also depending on the process requirement. Uh, as far as storage tanks are concerned, storage tanks are uh, uh, limited up to a certain pressure category above which they go into the pressure vessel category. So storage tanks, again, the configurations are many. You can have a fixed conical roof tank, you can have a external floating roof tank, you can have a dome roof tank, you can have an internal floating roof tank, uh, you can have for example LNG is stored in a double containment tank. So again depending on the chemical this type of storage tank is decided by the process engineer. For example a, cru a crude oil can be stored in an external floating roof tank whereas benzene because it is a carcinogen is stored in a fixed conical roof tank with an internal fl floating roof. Also you have to have nitrogen blanketing if benzene is the uh, chemical stored. So again, the uh, blanketing uh, is again decided by the process engineer. For example, a water storage tank, you don't need any blanketing. It is just a gooseneck coming out from the top. Whereas, for a, uh, as I mentioned, for benzene, you have to have nitrogen blanketing. In the refineries, uh, they also use fuel gas for the blanketing of uh, chemicals because they generate fuel gas in the refinery. So the idea in the blanketing is that uh, you uh, prevent the chemical uh, by Keeping the, uh, keeping the inert gas below the LEL or you can go above the UEL, upper explosive limit or LEL is lower explosive limit. So uh, by the blanketing you ensure that uh, the chemical is always either below the LEL or above the UEL. So that's why fuel gas if, if it is used, fuel gas itself is combustible but you keep it above the UEL. And uh, reversely nitrogen if it is used, you keep the uh, chemical below the LEL value. Uh, so storage tanks again uh, has has many uh, requirements. Uh, for example, uh, you have a breather valve on a, a let's say benzene tank is there, which is an internal floating roof tank with a, a nitrogen blanketing. You have a breather valve. You will have an emergency relief valve. You will have pressure transmitters on top, pressure gauges. Then you will have level gauges. So all these things are part of the uh, of the peripherals of the tank. Now uh, when we go to the bullets. Uh, bullets are basically uh, horizontal or vertical pressure vessels and uh, uh, each bullet is uh, designed for that particular chemical design pressure point of view. So for example LPG is designed to have a certain pressure as compared to let's say 1,3-butadiene. So LPG and 1,3-butadiene are both liquids under their own vapor pressures. Uh, you can also have LNG which is stored in a cryogenic storage at minus 160 degree centigrade with a double containment type uh, storage. Spears uh, are, were in older days used quite uh, exorbitantly in many projects. However, uh, because of the technological advances now, people prefer to go in for, let's say, mounted bullets. Uh, for example, uh, a, a horizontal bullet, which is a pressure vessel, if it is stored on saddle supports above ground, your safety distances around that vessel are quite more However, if you design that pressure, if you design that pressure vessel to be under mounted bullet category, so it is covered under a mound of uh, earth, then the safety distances required around that storage are drastically reduced. 
also the firefighting requirements are drastically reduced all these things and more are covered in quite detail uh, in the in the uh, handbook uh, please do visit uh, website www.chemicalprocessengineering.com for meer's handbook which will aid the process engineer to do process engineering in a very practical way please also like and subscribe to the channel thank you